Hello, I'm our Facts of Mars. An instant, uh, Joe Biden started squatting inside the uh, White House, or wherever the hell he is. January 20th, gas prices started to rise. And I put the liberals on my uh, chat group, you know, this guy's causing uh, gas prices to rise. Thanks a lot, Joe. And somebody came up with this article, which is mostly BS. But I thought I would share it with you, which is why gas prices keep going up and how high they're likely to rise. Gas prices are coming back from the fraud demic with a vengeance. Uh, now, the reason they were low is that uh, Donald Trump had his energy independent imbeciles. When the Wuhan flu hit first hit last year, Americans hunkered down at home, demand for gasoline plunged, and prices dropped. Didn't drop that far, but uh, they stabilized. Last April, national average in all grades fell below two dollars a gallon for the first time in over four years during the U.S. Energy Information Administration. Now prices are rising fast, up more than 25 cents a gallon nationwide in the last month to an average 268 for regular auto, auto club AAA reported on Thursday, and it's going to get worse. Fuel prices, well, I can tell you that. Fuel prices are expected to see a big spike in the next few weeks, followed by more increases all the way to summer. Here are the reasons, six reasons why the price, gas prices are going up, plus predictions of how high they're likely to go, so you can start thinking about ways to save money to help pay for your cost of their fill-ups. Crude oil prices are surging. I could have told you that. Uh, uh, let's look at the reasons they're giving. As with gasoline, the price of crude oil tanked last spring as the Wuhan flu wrecked economies and stopped people from traveling. That is a lie. You lie like a Romulan dog. Uh, it was the politicians that ruined the economies. Prop of oil prices, OPEC cartel and its allies slashed oil production. But we were uh, energy independent under Trump, and we're no longer energy independent. We bas Trump basically told uh, OPEC to go fly a kite. But lately, crude prices have been soaring because OPEC has been slow to boost output again. Now, here we go. They're blaming OPEC instead of the dirt bag that we have squatting in the White House. I said dirt bag. Okay, harsh winter has been tough on refineries. There's at least some truth to this one. Oil prices have continued to rally as a result globally as global oil demand recovers from the worst of the Wuhan flu pandemic. Fraudemic. Now, extreme cold weather shutting refineries down. U.S. motors just can't seem to catch a break, says gas buddy analyst Patrick B. Hand. Now, there they go again, blaming the Wuhan flu. It has nothing to do with that. The fraud demic also knocked out refineries. Long before the storms, the oil and gas industry is reeling from pummeling fuel sales caused by the Wuhan flu. By late 2020, there were more than a dozen refinery closures that reduced U.S. gas, U.S. production by more than one billion dollars per day. If your nose grew when you spoke, it would be a redwood. This is such obvious nonsense. Uh, I 
Number four, vaccinations are expected to boost travel. So, number four, vaccinations are expected to boost travel as more Americans are vaccinated and life returns, begins to return to something closer to normal. People are likely to fly and drive more. That trend will continue, will contribute to rising fuel costs. Well, I haven't noticed things getting back to normal at all. As a matter of fact, uh, Andrew the Tyrant lost his uh, emergency powers here in the state of New York and nothing happened. Still wearing masks and still uh, have all sorts of problems. As the foundation of the rise in oil prices is the fact that the Wuhan flu situation continues to improve, pushing global oil demand higher as production continues to lag, pushing U.S. gas prices higher, says Gas Buddies D. Han. They want you shop around, that doesn't do any good. Stimulus checks will drive up spending and prices. At least this this one they have some have a valid point. Uh, we're doing what uh, they did in Nazi um, in Germany with the Rhineland uh, printing money. Big time trouble there. They have they have a valid point there. Summer will bring bring pricier gasoline blends. Uh, excuse me, this started the instant that uh, Beijing Zhou got in office. Now, uh, shall we see what Beijing Zhou did with the uh, pipelines? Here's the most obvious cause of this, despite what the uh, commie liberals at what Yahoo were claiming. Uh, Biden killed the uh, Keystone XL pipeline and killed tens of thousands of jobs. And, you know, 24 hours later, the gas prices start to rise. I don't believe in coincidence. Here we have another article uh, defending uh, Joker Joe, uh, uh, Beijing Joe, whatever you want to call him, Joe the Squatter, Defending him uh, from what we knew was going to happen. I have a really shocking article about to come up. Here's PolitiFact defending Biden. Take a look at this. Gas prices going up. And they stamped needs context on this. Unbelievable. And again. Gas prices are soaring, but thank God there are no offensive tweets this week. They put needs contacts on that, too. Okay. But here's the shocker. This site, the burning platform, uh, claims that he wants to raise some hundred dollars a gallon. Wouldn't surprise me any. It's not going to happen in his first hundred days, but uh, he'd love to have it that high, and even higher. Uh, how anybody can sit there and defend this asshole? Did I say that? Sorry, I said it. How anybody can sit here and defend them is beyond me. I'm just utterly furious. Uh... There's no question. This guy's the blame. I mean, it started rising the instant he was in office. Come on. Well, that's about it. Bunch of uncookies, sorry. Uh, so, Yahoo. Alright, this is from Babylon B, this article. Uh, so it's uh, basically satire. 
No one surprised me, honey. He loved to see him that high. You know, Yahoo sat there lie, 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 blame the Wuhan flu, blame the Wuhan flu. This is the only thing that you need to be blaming right here. And of course the liberals are going to step in and defend them. Unbelievable. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. God help us. I went longer than I would have liked. This is complex.